Okay, to summarize what we've talked about in the rate of reaction, factors affecting rate of a reaction, we get to see the rate of a reaction is the speed at which reactants disappear or speed at which products appear. Certain things affect how fast or slow a reaction will take place, and these are what we call the rate of a reaction. Now, the first one is that the more concentrated the reactants are, the faster the reaction. Certain reactions are faster because the reactants are highly concentrated. When they are highly concentrated, they collide and then the reaction proceeds faster. An increase in temperature will result in an increase in the energy of reacting particles, therefore resulting in an increase in the rate of a reaction. So when the energy, when the particles gain more energy, they vibrate faster, therefore colliding very fast and then they will carry or proceed with the reaction. Smaller particles create a large surface area. This exposes more reacting particles to the collision, resulting in an increase in the rate of a reaction. So I said if you have a lump and then you have powder, the powdered ones are going to react faster. The reason is because in this lump, only the surfaces are going to react. The ones in the middle are not going to be affected. A catalyst lowers energy barriers before therefore lowering the activation energy required to initiate a reaction. So in a reaction, certain amount of energy is required. The minimum amount of energy required for the reaction to proceed is what we call the activation energy. Now if most of the elements do not have this amount of energy, the reaction will be very slow. Once you put a catalyst in there, the catalyst will lower the energy demands and then most of the elements will then be able to start the reactions. Lastly, we have enzymes. These are biological catalysts that are protein in nature. They work at optimum pH and temperature. pH is just the acidity level of a substance. Okay, so that should be it for today.